Hey everyone, today we're making a low carb breakfast dish for you. I'm making cauliflower oatmeal. Now we're gonna swap out the oatmeal, take it out completely and substitute in cauliflower. We're gonna use riced cauliflower and it really does taste pretty darn delicious and it's nice and low carb for those of you that like that. All right, we're gonna be using coconut milk for this. It's gonna make it nice and rich and creamy. You have some good fats in there. We're gonna be adding some protein powder for some protein and uh, we're gonna add some natural sugar so that we keep that part uh, you know, at a, at a nice level. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. All right, so what we're gonna start off with here is our coconut milk. I'm using full fat coconut milk and I like this brand here, Native Forest, because it has no fillers, no additives, no thickeners. It's just coconut milk and water. Place some of that into a bowl. This is about one serving, although this is fairly rich and satisfying, so it might even be one and a half servings. Cauliflower rice. Now you can make your own or you can buy it at the store. Now I do have a video for you if you want to know how to do your own in a food processor, and I'll leave a link for you down below in the description of this video. So we'll place that in. So then I'm going to toss in some chia seeds. Now chia seeds are awesome. They add fiber to your dish as well as omega-3s. And what it's going to do for this dish in particular is it's going to thicken it up and give us that consistency of oatmeal. I'm going to take a banana and place that in there. This one's sort of a small banana, which is fine. Because I don't like too much sugar in my oatmeal. And this gives it just the right amount for me. And you can do a half a banana if you want. The coconut milk also is quite, has natural sweetness to it. So yeah, you don't need a lot of sugar. Cinnamon is always a nice spice to use. I like to place in about a teaspoon. And we're gonna put a pinch of salt in there for just to bring out some of the flavor. And I'm also gonna add about a third of a cup of water to this. All right, so now we're gonna take this over to the stove and cook it for about five to six minutes. All right, so I'm gonna put this over medium heat. You wanna bring it to a boil. And once you get it to a boil, you wanna turn it down because it will kind of boil over and make a big mess on your stove and we don't want that. But bring it down to a simmer and then once you get it to a simmer, we're just gonna cook it for you know like five, six minutes. That cooks the uh, cauliflower and thickens it up. Now this is a great dish that you can meal prep ahead of time. Let's say you make four or five servings beginning of your week and then put them in individual containers, put them in your refrigerator, and then when you want them in the morning, you pull it out, add maybe just a little bit of water to it because it might be a little thick from being in the fridge, and then you can either put it in the microwave or put it in another saucepan to reheat. It just takes just a few seconds. Then you can add your toppings, which I'm gonna be adding walnuts and some raisins, and you're good to go. You have a very quick and easy and delicious and healthy breakfast every day. So while our Oatmeal, cauliflower oatmeal, is cooking away. This might be a good time if you want to, to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below the video and that notification bell next to it. That way you'll be notified when new videos come out every week and we'd love to have you. And also, if you have a friend who you think might enjoy a nice, healthy, low carb breakfast, share it with them. I'd really appreciate that. All right, this looks like this is done now for me. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm going to add my vanilla extract, you wanna add it after you turn off the heat, that way it, uh, it keeps most of its flavor in the dish when you do that, instead of cooking it out. And vanilla, which is really nice about it, is it sort of brings out the sweetness in your dish. Even though it itself isn't really sweet, but it just enhances the sweetness. So stir that in. And then last is our, our uh, protein powder. Now hopefully this will blend in pretty well without clumping up. So I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle it in. I have a whisk here and I'm just gonna kinda work it in. Now I like to add protein powder to my oatmeal. So, you know, it's optional. You don't have to do it, but you can. I think it's nice to have a little protein in there in your breakfast. Now the one I like to use here is Great Lakes Gelatin. You might wanna check that out. I'll leave a link for you down in the description. All right, so that's the rest of our protein powder. All right, so let's serve this up. 
Now you can garnish this with just about anything you like, right? I like, like I said, walnuts, you know, walnut pieces, raisins, you could do, I mean, it's really endless what you could do with this. I mean, you could do peanut butter in this, you could add almond butter, I mean, you name it. So I'd like to know what you guys would like to add to yours in the comments below. So let me know, let's share some ideas here. I like the, um, the raisins because it's a little bit sweet, not too many, just a few. You can make little designs, make a little happy smiley face, or not. And then uh, I like my walnuts, they're really good for you. And I like the crunch, I like that uh, texture variation. Let's give it a taste. There's a lot of natural sweetness there from the coconut milk, the banana, it's perfect, it's subtle, but I think it's just right on and I like lots of cinnamon, so I put a little extra in there. Yeah, the flavors are delicious. I think you'll love this. This is a great breakfast, it's healthy, a nice change of pace, and it can be you know, done as a meal prep. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to share the recipe and take care.